now as promised we do have the CFO of Sunwell in studio with us and this of course is on the back of the news that uh, Sunwell says that they're going to be holding on any future bond auctions until there is clarity as to how South Africa is actually going to go about paying for ETOLs. Inga, thank you so much for making the time to join us. Uh, let's let's start off with the, uh, with an element of the statement that's not clear, and this is you saying that uh, Sandwell is going to be able to continue business as usual for the next mm. couple of months. Now, David was arguing with me earlier, and he says couple is two months. Uh, <laughs> can we verify that? Yes, so it's more than two months. Um, we can continue. We've got cash reserves. Sandwell, uh, as you know, I've got a very uh, uh, conservative cash flow requirements so we always keep at least three months of cash in the bank mm. but we have had uh, some good uh, auctions in the previous months so we actually have more than that um, but we hope that the the announcement will come sooner than that anyway. Well the announcement you're looking for mm. is that people must pay and I mean it wasn't helpful for you uh, when one of the ministers said we're not going to prosecute you and seemed to give a signal that uh, it was okay not to pay. I think that was possibly the case, but I think since January, both the, the uh, president, uh, president, the budget speech, as well as the Premier's uh, State of the Province address, made it very clear that the tolling in Gauteng is not going to go away. Mm. There may be some more concessions, but you'll have to pay toll. That Are you the saying that line. the political storm is finally over? Because there was a time when Samuel was wedged between the provincial and the national politics. Uh, well, that was mainly driven now by the Deputy President, so there is a task team that includes both ourselves, the province and National Treasury. Um, but like I said, he's, uh, the Deputy President is the chair mm. of that task team. Uh, among them, the many other things he's doing, uh, so okay. one, <laughs> one wonders Let's about that. the lights on. But now, how much money are you collecting at the moment? Uh, I've got the thing in my car, it pings. Uh, a lot of people have that, but a lot of people haven't. A lot of mm. people must have run up some quite big debts, which mm. if they are forced to pay them, they're going to battle. What's the percentages in terms of payment? Well, we still have 1.2 million registered, uh, vehicle, registered owners on our system. And as you know, we've given the numbers previously. So on any given month, there's about 2.5 million uh, unique vehicles in Gauteng. So say roughly half of the people are still paying, although there are concerns raised by them, you know, is this going to be uh, enforced future? What is the future? And for, from our side, we can only say it's been confirmed that you have to pay toll, so keep on doing so. Mm. Mm. Um, what will come now is maybe there's a, a, a dispensation that will make the future toll maybe less or mm. some other things being uh, brought forward. But, but half is a big percentage. It is, yes. Let's talk about the avenues that the task team is exploring. You're part of the task team, so you're mm -hmm. very much on top of uh, where you're looking for money. Uh, what could this hybrid funding look like? Well, if, you, um, if you've seen the report from the Gauteng panel, they've actually indicated in that report that the current dispensation is the best one which favours the poor the most because it has the least impact on the poor. Mm. So actually the, the, the panel has already concluded that what we have is the best method. Um, however, there is some room for improvement where there's certain periods of the day that they could be some f more leeway or more discounts or the bigger issue is the fact that people don't understand uh, the various tariffs. It's very complicated. So there may be a way that we can make it more simple. Is mm. that your job? I mean, you've got to communicate. You can blame the politicians for telling people not to pay, but you've actually got to communicate how it works, don't yes, you? Yes, that's Sandral's job. So we have to say, well, we give you discounts in the middle of the night because we don't want trucks to drive during peak hours or whatever mm. the case may be. So mm. yes, that communication must come from us. Mm. Inge, I think communication is a very big part of this conversation because there's always the risk that uh, consumers might view the time between now and the task team's announcement as a, a victory for consumers who had no intention of paying. How are you making sure that from a, a, a brand perspective mm -hmm. and, and managing that uh, communication channel that you keep the message consistent? I think that's what we've been trying to do and I'm, I'm not the communications expert but from our from the central side we've co continually saying you know you have to pay toll it's not going to go away please continue to do so it's always better to keep on paying mm. than wait for uh, the I think answer. what worries me is mm. that for political reasons there will be a kind of write off of the past debt so everyone's got to pay from now on but we understand the issue so we'll write off 
I think that would be very unfair. I've that, been paying exactly. all along. Exactly. So that will not happen. Mm. I mean, uh, we can't be uh, uh, negative towards the people that have been supporting us. Yeah. So uh, that is a principle that is, in terms of the task team, was one of the principles that are clear. We can't prejudice the people that have been supporting us and paying Throughout. And a very quick one, I mean one of the things that I uh, experienced today was actually being stopped uh, at a roadblock and having uh, the officers actually check uh, the, my, for my e-tech. What is the legality around that? Let's just say that I didn't have one and I do have one. Mm. Uh, can I get arrested? Do I get, you know, can I be fined? What are my rights as a consumer? In terms of the e-tag itself, it's never been forced. You've never been, uh, you don't have to have a tag. The tag is for free though and you get discounts. So we've used the incentivized method as opposed to the penalized method. But the non-payment of toll, be it the e-tag tariff or any other thing, is still a criminal uh, offense okay. in terms of the Sanral Act. So that's why they are checking individual Well, they cars. can check it, but I mean, the, to check for the tag is not necessarily yes. the right okay. way to do it. Well, thanks to the Sanral CFO. Got through a lot of stuff there. It's a complicated issue. And in other ways, very simple. That's Inga Mulder, the CFO at, uh, CFO at Sanral.